Dear fellow almost cucumbers, <laughs> if you are irritated by something, take a drink. <laughs> this is one of the things that I learned today from Bogdan. Nice informative speech. I wondered what it was in technical, technically wise though. Let's analyze together his speech technically wise. Let's start with the things that I personally like about his speech. And those things go. First of you being open and more or less relaxed on the stage, which manifested in that you made jokes. And I even remember people laughing at some of them, which is not a bad thing. The second thing, you were actually supposed to show us how you mastered using visuals in your speech. And you did it well. Slides were appropriate. You waved a bottle of water around, which was a nice thing to do. What, in my opinion, you could have done better to make your speech even better? I have a question for you. What was the goal of your speech? To tell about the significance of drinking water regularly. <laughs> tell about, meaning, do you want, do you want to, to, did you want to inform us or do you want to persuade us to drink water? Of course, persuade. I told, I told you about side effects which you can encounter if you don't. Absolutely, great. You were clear about it. Now, for a persuasive speech, it was a little too informative. Wish. Meaning, first, you gave us a lot of facts. 70% of Earth is covered with water. Only 4% of it we, we can drink. Three aggregate states only water can have on Earth. And things like that. And I was sitting there wondering, especially this first informative part, what does these facts, about 70% of Earth being covered with water, 4% of it would be drinkable, have to do with your attempt to persuade us that to drink it was a good thing. Do you understand me? Meaning that you told us about some facts, three aggregate states, 70%, and then you switched to give us some facts what it, why it was useful for us, and what was bad about not drinking water. And you concluded with summarizing what was good about it and what we should do. What did you tell us about 70% and three aggregate states. My point is, don't use the information in your speeches, which is not related to your goal of your speech. And by the end of your speech, people have probably forgotten about purely informative things you told us about war. To wrap it, the whole thing up, you interact with the audience, you use nice visuals, be clearer about your speech goals, and you will 